The North Atlantic is a place that I reckon is probably one of the most dangerous places in the world. You know when you go to this race, it's a wall, you know. Horrific, unpleasant, freezing, Baltic, you know, I mean, you name it, it's, um, it can be really, really, really unpleasant. You're cold for a long time, you're wet for a long time, and you're enduring this consistent monotony of slamming, bang, bang, wave after wave. So you're going to test yourself to the limits, not only with the weather, but also your fatigue and your tenacity to keep going. It's, it's a brilliant race. It began as the Ostar in 1960, a group of five pioneers preparing to race solo across the Atlantic to the USA on a half-crown wager. What a wonderful race, the greatest in the world. Francis Chichester led the fleet home to become one of Britain's most famous seafaring adventurers. Four years later, it was Frenchman Eric Taberley who arrived first, but he would become France's greatest ever sailing legend. For nearly 50 years, the world's elite sailors have been drawn to the challenge of crossing this large and demanding ocean. The sport has moved on. Chichester took 40 days to cross the Atlantic in 1960. Today's latest generation of fast, high-tech Emoka 60 monohulls will do close to 3,000 miles in a little over 10 days. The 2008 Transat fleet will come together at Plymouth Sutton Harbour in one of the UK's most vibrant cities, steeped in maritime history. An extraordinary assembly of more than 40 Amoka 6s and Class 40 race boats, representing both the sport's greatest professional sailors and those whose careers are just beginning. And then, a race of nearly 3,000 miles across the Atlantic to the finish in another city with significant maritime past, Boston, USA. And while the sailors are battling their way across the Atlantic against the prevailing winds, advanced satellite communications will carry their remarkable stories from the heart of the ocean across the world to TV screens, internet and mobile phones. We're going to have a severe gale 9 with gusts up to 50 knots. And the fleet's epic progress will be tracked via sophisticated computer animations in real time and with breathtaking detail. To win the Transat is to follow in exalted footsteps. It has created sailing legends over the last four decades. And now provides the stage for the heroes of the future. A new partnership has also been formed with Artemis Investment Management, one of the UK's leading investment companies, who since its launch in 1998 have established a reputation for strong investment performance in up as well as down markets. On the 11th of May 2008, at Plymouth Sutton Harbour, the legend continues in the Artemis Transat.